understanding summary statistics too, measures of spread including standard deviation. Hi, I'm Dr Nick and in this video I'm going to tell you about summary statistics describing spread. When we explore data we are interested in position, spread, shape and special. In our video Understanding Summary Statistics we talked about position also known as central tendency. In this video we will talk about the spread of the data. The spread tells us how much variation there is in our data. If all our values are pretty similar with little variation then there will be little spread. If the values in our data show a lot of variation then there will be a lot of spread. To describe or measure variation we can use the range, the interquartile range and the standard deviation. We will illustrate this with a shoe example we have used in several of our videos. Each value in this data set is the number of pairs of shoes a student said he or she owned. We want to know how spread out the data is. The range of the data is from 2 to 58. At least one student said he had just two pairs of shoes and one student said she had 58 pairs. We could say that the range is 58 minus 2 which is 56. This is not a good indication of the actual spread of the data as just one value 58 is making a big difference to the range. A better indication of spread is the interquartile range. The median cuts a set of data into two equal groups. Half of the observations lie above it and half lie below. In the same way the upper and lower quartiles along with the median cut the set of data into four groups. Each group has one fourth or 25% of the observations in it. In this case of the numbers of pairs of shoes the lower quartile is 5 and the upper quartile is 12. In between the lower and upper quartiles are the middle 50% of the observations. The interquartile range is the difference or distance between the upper quartile and the lower quartile and in this case the interquartile range is 12 minus 5 which equals 7. The box plot is used to show the interquartile range. The box goes between the lower and upper quartiles. Standard deviation. The standard deviation is a very popular way of expressing how spread out the distribution of a set of data is. While explaining how the formula works we will assume that this set of data is a population. For each value we find out how far it is from the mean using subtraction. Then we square each of those differences, add them together and divide by the number of observations. That gives the variance. Then we find the square root of the variance to get the standard deviation. In reality we get a computer to find the standard deviation. There is a slight difference in the formula for finding the standard deviation of a population or a sample. Unless your sample is very small it makes no practical difference. The standard deviation gives an indication of how spread out your distribution is. For just about any distribution nearly every value will fall between three standard deviations above or below the mean. The standard deviation for the SHU data is 9.01. Measures of spread are particularly relevant when comparing two distributions. We will compare the spread of the data for the male students and the female students. From the dot plot we can see that the data for the female students is clearly more spread out. The range is not a good measure of spread in this instance so we will not even talk about it. The interquartile ranges are as follows. For female students 20 minus 10 equals 10. For male students 7 minus 4 equals 3. So the interquartile range for the female students is 10, the interquartile range for the male students is 3. You can see that the box plot of the number of shoes for female students is much wider than the box plot for the number of shoes for male students. The standard deviations for the two sets of data are as follows. Female students 10.6, male students 5.2. These statistics also indicate that the spread for the female students is much greater than for the male students and this confirms what we can see on the graphs. We would interpret these standard deviations as indicating that there is more variation in the number of pairs of shoes that women students own than in the number of pairs of shoes that men students own. This video introduced three measures of spread, range, interquartile range and standard deviation. If you would like to know more please ask questions in the comments below or on the channel community chat. Do click on like and subscribe to the channel. 
To find more stats videos like this one, search on Dr Nick and the topic you need help with. And may your data have just the right amount of spread.